Figel in like one of the uh, Gambit's Cup threads how to pronounce his name. It's like some Russian thing. Uh, I'm gonna say Idigel, like an ignorant American. But it's more like Idigil or something like that. Idigil. Here, let me let me try and get Google translated for it. Can somebody like link me to the to Google saying it? Google Sensei. Anyway, so that means it's a PBZ on. Ooh, it's gonna be Outsider. Mmm, PBZ on Outsider. And by mmm, I mean it's actually terrible because. Uh, if you look at the Gambit's Cup stats, this map is like 70% Zerg win rate or something. Um, yeah. Anyway, at the top right is the Orange Zerg, we do have Assault Pain. And at the left side as the Brown Protoss, we have Idigil. Idigil? Assault. Well, having said that, I think Idigil has actually come out on this map a couple of times. Um, so maybe, uh, maybe just likes outside or something, I don't know. Oh, Edigel made the first probe too late. Should've just gone for a 4-gate. Actually, yeah, that's confusing. 4-gate like 4-pool, not like 4-gateways. Man, that's weird. When you say 4-pool, people assume it's, you know, 4 drones and then a pool. When you say 4-gate, people assume it's 4-gateways. Oh, what's up with that? Oh, I forgot to change the score. Alright. 3-1 in favor of Pain, but this is the start of the reverse 4-3. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Come on, my liquid bet. Alright, so Orange Overlord is going down to the bottom right. Scouting in the wrong direction. But otherwise, nothing too fancy. We do have a pylon in the main. This is actually relatively standard on Outsider because of the back expansions to go for a uh, gateway first opening. You know, on most maps, this is a little bit crazy, but on Outsider, it's completely fine. And actually good, I think. Uh, so this is just the standard gateway on 10. Gonna scout with that gateway probe. Didn't actually scout with the pylon probe. Let's get a little bit later. That's alright, he's gonna scout in the correct direction. It's gonna be nice for him. Meanwhile, looks like we have an overpool from Assault. AKA Assaulty. By the way, I, I always get Assault confused with Busy for some reason. I think because they're both Canadian and their name, their IDs both end with Y. I mean, he's called Assault here, but he also goes by Assaulty, I think. Maybe not, maybe I'm just like completely confused, but yeah, busy and assaulty, just never tell these guys apart. They're not even the same race. I don't know why, like, they're, they're Zerg and, and Terran, so I don't know why I get confused, but yeah. All Canadians are the same, man. It's like how I can't tell Asians apart. I can't tell Canadians apart either. Anyways, why do we have... Oh no, that's that's Zerg minerals. I was like, why does Protoss have so many minerals? Protoss doesn't have minerals. Zerg is minerals. Oh, oh, BM. Manor. Manor. That's alright, he went over pool so he can make links, but still, he's actually got 400 minerals now. So he's got a lot of minerals. Oh god, he's gonna cancel and do it again. Uh. Uh. Eh. Oh, no, he's not. Just kidding. Did that? Alright. I guess that drone was too distracting or something. So, we've got the links coming out. It's good times. Got some drones being made. Good times. Gonna make a third hatchery somewhere. Maybe. Hopefully. Soon. Soon. Hatchery. Somewhere. Alright. And a probe with 500 minerals is gonna go make a nexus somewhere in the back. Uh, so it was like a one gate gas nexus. I think it was intended to be like one gate expand. But his probe went out a little bit late. So this is actually quite interesting. That probe should stay there by the way. That actually helps, because then you can two-shot the links instead of three-shot them. And uh, on the other hand, uh, Assault actually made a start hatchery at his natural, so not taken another another base. Now, on you know, on, on a non-outsider map, on a map where you don't have the back expo, you know, you building this third hatchery at your natural is fine. You don't actually want to take a third base if the Protoss is one basing. But on a map like Outsider, it's I mean, he's gonna see now with his overlord that the Protoss actually did just fast expand anyway. Even though he was kind of one base doing a one base opening, so so this third, third hatchery could easily. I mean, this could actually just have been made at the back uh, mineral only. I mean, that that would. Oh, nice escape from the probe here. But yeah, uh, assault could easily have made that hatchery here and kind of got the extra minerals at least, uh, even if he wanted to be safe. But actually, it looks like he just built a fourth hatchery at the bottom right natural instead. So not particularly playing to the map. But, uh, you know, has reacted appropriately, has seen what he needed to see with the Overlord, that there actually is no tech here, the core is not even done yet. 
so uh, still gonna feel safe in getting him at third base. It's a really good, nice little trick, by the way. And a couple more lanes coming out, but otherwise, nothing too drastic here. From Assault, Itagil, meanwhile, has gone this minute only. Gonna do the good old transfer. This Overlook's gotta be a little bit careful, by the way. Uh, Itagil could easily make a Dragoon right now and just kill it for free. And not waste time with the Stargate. It looks like Forge and Citadel going down at the same time. Interesting Forge timing here. Might just want to get a cannon up here to be safe. Um, since otherwise he just has like four zealots on the ramp. And uh, and doesn't really know what's coming here. Um, you know, he's got this probe in the back. He's gonna go now have a have a peek in the Zerg base and see what's coming. You know, is it gonna be mutas? Is it gonna be some kind of weird fast lurkers? It's none of the above, really. Is there even a lair yet? Wait a minute, is there no lair? Oh man, there's no lair. Alright, cool. It's four hatch hydra. Sweet. So the probe's gonna come in here, he's gonna see nothing. He's gonna go over to the 12 o'clock actually and check for a base over there, I guess. Uh, that also allows him to hide and look at that! Exactly as predicted, there's gonna be a cannon right there at the top of the ramp, also gonna get some plus one. Didn't actually make the Dragoon as I thought. See, I, I would favor making a Dragoon here, because if you make a Dragoon, the Dragoon can go and kill the Overlord and then your Corsair can go and scout. But if you don't make the Dragoon, then are you gonna kill this with Overlord? Or sorry, are you gonna kill this with the Corsair or are you gonna go scout? You have to pick one or the other, which is not a nice choice. You wanna be able to do both. So it looks like he's actually just gonna kill this. Because I guess, I mean, he, he did get the scout off with the probe, so it's not a, so, so actually it's completely fine. But sometimes, you know, if you weren't lucky enough to get this probe hidden in, in the base, uh, you would, you'd probably want to make that Dragoon. I don't know, I'd make the Dragoon. I always make the Dragoon. Maybe that's just a personal thing. Personal preference. Either way, that guy's gonna get taken out, and he's not gonna see this, uh, this Nexus, but, I mean, you know, he saw there was no base up here, he knows there's no natural, it, it's almost certainly gonna be a base over here. I mean, I guess the only real question is, is the base on this side, or is it on this side, but it's most likely on the inside here, so that he could transfer probes. It wouldn't really make any sense to build it on the other side, so even though you have the gas, you can't transfer probes, which doesn't, it's not very helpful. Um, so of course he's now gonna see this third base here, I think it's close enough now to see the creep at least, yeah, so he's gonna see that for sure. I'm gonna start poking these overlords. Only a single hydro there, but still gonna be able to turn it away. And uh, the lair, I think. Yep, yeah, just now finishing up. Suddenly gonna get some overload speed. Whoa! What just happened over here? Alright, for some reason these lings decided to try and bust this ramp. I don't know why he thought that would ever even come close to succeeding. This is a lot of zealots being made, by the way. It looks like he's going for some plus one uh, zealot shenanigans. Now getting the archives, but there we go. Speed is finished. Plus one not quite done yet. Uh, but this actually could be a little bit dangerous here. Not very many defenses here at the third, and more importantly, no Sim City here. There's no hatch. Like there should be a hatchery here or something. There's going to be nothing really to protect this against all of those zealots. It's going to make some emergency Sim City with the Evo Chamber right now. But this is looking very, very dangerous. Some more drones even being transferred, and Hydra Speed just now finished. But he doesn't really have many Hydras to even reinforce with. This base could even just go down here. He's building a lot of emergency sunkins. The Hydras are in a really nice position on the inside of the Sim City. But this attack is going to be really dangerous, even though the zealots don't have plus one. The zealots are attacking the hatchery, but they should be attacking the Hydras on the Sunkins. More Zealots are flooding in for Itagel. Assault is in a lot of trouble right now. The Hydra's getting taken down. The drone's trying to block the Sunkins, but again, just no Sim City to make use of. And these Sunkins are going to get taken down easy peasy by these Zealots. Plus one or no. Some emergency Hydra reinforcements are coming down here, but I don't really see how they're going to defend. I think he should just pull them back. There's no way he's going to defend this base. If he sends the Hydras down now, he's just going to be sacrificing them for no real purpose here. He's just going to lose them for free. This base is definitely going to die. And look at this. The Hydras, they, they can't do anything. He should just run away. He's sending down more links of Hydras, but there, there is no way for him to save this base. He's just throwing away units by sending them there. I mean, a counterattack might even have been better. If he sent them to counterattack, he could at least deny the Protoss' third right now at his natural. Uh, but now he's just kind of threw, thrown away a few units and he's not going to be able to do anything. Salty seems to be amused by all of this. I'm not really sure why. Uh, <laughs> gotta stop playing this map. Lol. Alright, blame the map. That's good. Standard. Standard build. Lose the game, blame the map. It's a pretty common build order. You guys might know it. I'm sure everyone's done it a few times. Uh, you know, common variants include blaming the lag, blaming the latency, um, you know, blaming your dog for stepping on your keyboard. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a weird one. You know, it's like Cerebri. You don't see it very much. It's a very high level uh, tactic right there. But I, I really like the the dog, you know, unplugging your keyboard thing. It's really it's really fun when you see that. See, Casey knows. Casey knows his, his dog does that. See? See what I'm saying? It's like semi legit. Alright, so we got our template. They're not actually storming. Does he have, I don't think he has storm yet. 
I was gonna say, the Temple Archives didn't actually finish that long ago, so he doesn't actually have Storm. Because uh, Storm would actually end the game right now. The fact that he doesn't have it, and the fact that there is actually a SimCity here in the natural, means that Assault might live, in fact. Wow, that's actually really nice defense by Assault there. So Assault's gonna live. Oh, wait, maybe I spoke too soon? Maybe I spoke too soon? Notice he doesn't even have Hydra range. <laughs> and the drones are gonna murder this High Templar before it has Storm. Oh no, he got it! He got the Storm. He got it. So Assault's pretty dead. Pretty dead. Assault, you are pretty dead, man. You dead, bro, you dead. Um not you dead. Well GG GG In a gill Keeping the dream alive. That's what I'm talking about. See? See what I'm saying? Reverse 4-3? That's right. FR. FR knows what's up. Alright, next map. Next game. Come on, give it to me. Give me the rep. Give me the rep. Where the rep at? File isn't available. Oh, no, there we go. Game number six. Okay, it's going to be another piece.